sometimes your opponent or partner will be making contact with two hands, except his elbows will be bent. It would be very unlikely that I'd be able to get underneath his elbow here, especially if I can get, I have to get above it, to be able to try to push it up, or at least to be able to try to get underneath it so that I could attack a double. Notice his elbow is a lot lower here than it was here. It's an easier situation for me to get underneath. Here, that's not the case. But what I can do is I can get his hands off my shoulders by clearing them, by popping down on the lower part of his forearms with the meaty part of my hand. When I do that, though, I'm not using hand power. When I'm doing that, the power is really coming from lowering my level. It's, it's my momentum from my body, bam, and I'm chopping. This is staying tight. I'm pulling down, so I am chopping. But most of the power is based upon my weight coming down. Simultaneously, therefore, preparing my step in so I can cut the distance. You'll notice, too, because he's pushing on me most typically, he's, he's bent here. If I snap his arms down from here, there's a tendency for him to be moving slightly forward. Notice, too, the other thing that happens is his head goes down somewhat. Okay? When I pull down here hard, because he's pushing into me, one, by, ha by hitting his arms, it tends to, because he tends to have some rigidity here, it tends to pull his head down, but it also tends to make him go forward slightly. That's my opportunity for a moment to initiate my attack. So, Kobe's pushing into me here just slightly, perhaps. I'm going to pop down. And attack. The next setup, again fairly close range, is when I have double inside control. Both of my hands are inside control here. There are two variations of this, one with no thumbs and the other using my thumbs. If ultimately I think you need to have a sense of being able to use both positions this position, if my opponent is pushing into me and I'm trying to begin some pummeling type action, I probably want to have my thumb in. I can prevent him from coming in or at least I can slow him down easier this way. On the other hand, I can't pull him into me as easy this way. I can pull him into me easier with no thumbs. And so I think depending upon your purpose at that point in time ultimately determines whether your thumb is going to be like this on that inside control or like this. When I actually attack my double leg, my preference is for there to be no thumbs here. Hook just like this. Now, in this type of double leg, I do this a little bit differently because I'm not so interested in cutting a lot of distance. My preference when I attack a double leg, as you've seen, is lowering my level and I'm going to blast through and I keep my momentum going. This is a little different. Most typically in this situation, we're kind of pushing on each other and all I'm going to try to do here is get underneath him because this is very close range. As you can tell, this is not quite as close range, it's fairly close range, but this is much closer range of an attack. So cutting the distance isn't quite so crucial. What I'm going to do is, as I feel Colby, who has a good uh, control over me too, as I have inside control, I'm going to lower my level as I pull my arms over like this. Down. Down. I'm going to shuck his weight forward so that again he comes slightly forward and that is when I'll be able to make contact. But because we're already so close, typically I can just drop to my knee. Or if I want to cover a little distance, I'll typically do this. I come to this position here and as I'm going to pop, I throw my hips forward. And anytime you lower your level on a double for that basic technique that we did down here, instead of just coming to the knee, if you need to get another inch or two, just leap forward. Don't when you come in. Okay, that'll give you another inch or two or a couple inches and it'll also help with momentum. Okay, that's kind of how I'm going to do this next attack. So, Colby, 
is we're fighting in here. All I'm going to do from this position is lower my level and come in. Now, you'll notice his body is sort of draped over mine. And in fact, my body is kind of a fulcrum, typically in this situation, if I've done it right to where I can lift. Okay, from here, I'm going to reach under and come on top. Reach under the leg, pull it up. If I pull the leg up, that changes the angle of his hip. If his hips are high, his head is going to be low. And again, if I change the angle of his hips, typically he's going to be going down on his back. So he pushes in, I lower my left and I come in, boom. Notice, when I make contact, for both making contact, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to come up when I make contact. We're both coming into each other, I'm tugging him into me, I'm lowering my level, thrusting my hips in, we're both coming into each other, and as we make contact, I'm going to try to push up with my shoulder, like this. Try to get him off his feet if I can. So he's pushing in, oh, in his position here. The harder he's pushing on me, typically the easier that is. The other thing that's crucial is you cannot throw the arms over your head lackadaisically. Okay? I can't go part way here to try to come down. That ain't going to cut it. What I'm going to need to do is I need to pull these arms past my shoulders. On the other hand, I don't want to have my hands up too high because I may get blocked. So when I pull my hands in, you'll notice my elbows stay back close to my body to protect myself from getting blocked on the way in. Colby pushes in to this position here. Colby pushes in to this position here. I'm going to finish by coming to here. I'm going to grab up at the waist. If I pull this hip or this leg up and I torque his hip down here, his head's going to go down. He's going to go towards his back this way. And I'm going to come on top. Again, always trying to come around to the side to avoid the guard. As you can imagine, if I control this leg here, I prevent myself from getting into the guard ultimately. Colby's pushing in. In. In this position here. If I go down on my knee, that's okay. Reach through. Not a little baby reach. Deep around the waist, okay? Now, from here, I probably would lift my foot up to come down, keeping control of this as I come out to the side. Once more, Colby pushes in. This position. Reach through. Deep. Not shallow. Deep around the waist. Down. Keeping control of this as I come around to the side.